Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today is the second Sunday of Lent. Last Sunday, the church gave us to reflect upon the temptation of Christ and how to overcome the temptations in our own life using the scripture as a weapon. And this Sunday, church is inviting us to reflect upon the transfiguration of Christ and enter his glory. Through his transfiguration, Christ reveals to us the glory that would be ours if we remain faithful and triumphant. He encourages us to be strong and courageous in our journey this season of Lent. In the first reading, God made a promise to Abraham and blessed him. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you, those who bless you, and curse you, curse those who curse you. What is the condition for these blessings to come true and to be fulfilled? Abraham had to respond to God's command and call effectively. For that, he need to leave his country. So he said, leave your country and the land, and to the land that I'm going to show you. In other words, Abraham had to obey God's command by accepting his difficult mission. We are usually very fast to claim Abraham's blessings and glory. That is good. However, it is essential to note that the necessary condition for claiming this blessing is obedience to God's will and respond to his call and his mission for us, which is not easy. At times, it demands that one must leave behind something very important. It may require us to do something extraordinary. In short, responding to the call must make you leave your comfort zone. And this is the condition for receiving Abraham's blessing. If it is for those who remain steadfast to God's will and obey his commands. Abraham did what the Lord had commanded him to do. And that's why we call him, honor him as the father of faith. In the second reading, Paul encourages us to bear the hardships for the sake of the good news. It is the grace of God that sustains us to respond fully to our call. This grace, which existed before the beginning of time and creation, was revealed by the appearance of Jesus Christ. So, we must look up to this ancient grace, Christ, who has guaranteed our future glory through his death and resurrection. And today's gospel is on the transfiguration of Christ. Through it, Christ reveals himself and his future glory to us. Most importantly, with the transfiguration, Christ reveals one of the constants of human life to us. There is, a, there is no life without death, joy without pain, and regeneration without destruction. So all take place at the same time. Hence, his future glory is for those who have washed pure in the blood of the Lamb, and it is for those who have suffered for the sake of the good news, says Book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11. And Peter's amazement and statement, Lord, it is wonderful for us to be here, is very interesting. However, he was wrong, and it was only human. It was not yet time to rest or enter the fullness of his glory. The struggle continues, and the victory is certain through Christ. The transfiguration drama rem reminds us that we shall be among the triumphant church if we work hard and remain faithful to God's call and command. This glory is only a glimpse of the future glory of our final destination. So the transfiguration that happened is only a glimpse of the final destination and final glory that we all participate. So 
to share in Christ's glory, we must first walk with him to Calvary. So we have a season of Lent which offers us to walk with him these 40 days that we may participate in that glory. So also if you want, if we want to share in Abraham's blessings and praise, we must instead be ready to leave something behind. And if we want to double portion of Elijah's anointing and spirit, first we must contend with and overcome the Jezebel and Ahab of our times. And if we want the prophetic power and glory of Moses, first we must struggle against and overcome the pharaohs of this earthly kingdom. So in a way, this transfiguration is offering us to remain faithful and true to our calling. If you are a mother, be faithful to your call. And if you are a father, and if you are a brother, sister, above all, if you are a Christian, remain faithful to your call. And that will fetch you to enter the glory that Jesus is offering to us. Because we are living in a world which is full of pretension and selfishness. If we as a Christian remain true to our calling, we would enter that glory that Christ is offering to us. So season of Lent, this transfiguration passage should be for us an active energy to live our life and be motivated to walk toward our final destination. The journey is not yet over and honestly, not easy. However, Christ is with us. He encourages us and tells us, do not be afraid. Therefore, in this Mass, let us ask the Lord to give us the strength and grace as we walk out to be faithful to our calling and follow the commands that Christ is giving to us that one day we may participate and experience that glory Christ wants all of us to have. Let us pray in this Mass. Amen.